Good morning, everybody. This is Pastor Bonnie, and I'm so excited to be doing an angel painting with you guys today. I think it's probably been almost a year since the last time I did one. Um, it's just been super busy. I have a, I have a pottery shop called Dragonfly Corners, and I've been averaging fifty to a hundred orders a week on that website. So I haven't had time, but I decided there's been a lot of you asking for the angel paintings. And so we will do one today. I don't honestly know how this is going to come out, but that's half the fun. So I'm going to show you the paint that we're going to be using to get started. So I just bought these at Walmart. So this one's the first one. It's called Pool Blue. These are like 50 cents a piece. They're really inexpensive and easy to use. And then... This one is called Princess Pink, and this one is called Petunia Purple, and then this one is Primary Blue. Um, and I'll show you the paintbrushes. We're going to use these. I'm sorry, I bumped it. This was um. These were like seven dollars. I got these at Walmart too. Uh, they're Crafter's Choice. I absolutely love these. I'd like to do painting classes at my church, and I'll buy these for the ladies to use. But you can see they have every size in there, and they're really simple to use. And like I said, I think these were maybe $7.50 for the whole package. And then we bought, these are the larger ones <clears throat> that we're going to be using today. So I'm going to stop it for just a minute and take these out of the packages, and we will get started. Okay. I have all of my paint brushes in a cup and we're going to get started and I'm sorry if I jiggle. I actually just bought an iPhone 12 and of course it has to be purple because that's my favorite color because I like to use iMovie to make my videos. So they're, they're not professional but they're a lot of fun. So we're going to start with the background and this part all we do is just put some little drops of paint randomly on the canvas um, and you don't have to use a lot just a little bit and the fun part is I, I honestly don't know what these are going to look like myself until we get started with them but um, it's a lot of fun and I you know I hope you guys are doing really well it's been a tough year hasn't it with all this COVID stuff we actually had um, a death in our family because of it. Jeff's brother died of it. And it's just been so tough. And like even getting my supplies for my pottery, it's amazing. We just keep running out. Everybody's running out of everything and there's not enough pairs of hands to work. So I hope you guys will find this painting just relaxing, <clears throat> joyful, take your mind off everything, you know. Um, okay, so you can see we have all of the paint on and I'm just going to use this paintbrush and then all I'm going to do is just go back and forth across and I'm just going to kind of mix all the colors in. It's like a random order. The fun part about acrylic painting is it dries really quick and I'm actually doing this at my computer station. This is an 11 by 14 canvas. I got these at Walmart and they, I'll actually put that in the description box too, but I got them for $5 for three of them. So everything I'm doing is affordable and inexpensive. And you can do this with your grandkids and your kids, and your friends, just to do something relaxing. So what I'm gonna do is go back and fill in a little bit. I want a little more of the pink and the purple. So we'll put some more in here. And when we get going and we start working on the angel, I'm gonna tell you guys one of my angel stories. I've actually been so blessed throughout my life to be able to see them. I've had them appear in my room and I've had them send me messages and they are, they don't, they're not to be worshipped. They're, they're beings that God created to help us. And every single one of us has a guardian angel that protects us. And so I'm going to be sharing 
a little bit later while we work on the painting one of the angel stories that I had and then I just trust that it will bless you and you just know that God loves you he has a plan for your life he hasn't forsaken you or abandoned you even though things are really hard right now he will make provision he'll send you angels to help you too but see how pretty that is you guys it's just really muted that's what I was looking for just want it soft and pretty and muted. So we're gonna let this dry and then I'll come back and we'll work on the next part together. So you can see that it's nice and dry. I was actually having fun while I um, was, I've been, it's my day off. So I actually went in and worked on boxes and got some mugs unpacked. I buy the bisqueware from these really great companies and then have them ready to glaze but anyway it's nice and dry the story that we're going to be talking about today is called uh, the tapestry angel and it's actually in this book it's called angelic encounters and listing help from heaven all the angel stories are in this book um, and that's actually one of my paintings on the cover it's called the prayer whisperer but you can find it on amazon if you want to read the stories so that's where the stories are going to come from today so the next part we're going to do we're going to start working on the angel and we're going to use white paint i'm just going to oops it's right above it i'm going to get that ready for you and we'll get started so you see i just have white paint i like to put it on a paper towel i mean a paper plate and then this is a number four brush actually I think I want one thinner so we're going to actually use the number eight you can see it's a lot thinner I'm actually going to draw the angel with the paint and then I just have a sponge and we have a glass of water the cool part is you can erase it if you don't like it um, so let's go ahead and get started um, and the reason why I do the white paint, because I'll go back and fill it in later. So we're going to start with her face. And I want to have her up, uplifted. So I'm a lefty. I hope it's not in the way, you guys. But we're just going to give her a pretty little face. And we start with the oval. I wish I could really paint what I have seen, you guys. They are, some of the angels I've seen look like people, they're dressed in cl regular clothes and they, they, um, the way they're dressed is the message. But I, you know, I, I just can't do it justice, but I can tell you the stories while we're painting. So the story that I'm going to tell you about today, we were, we are going through a really tough time when this happened. I was betrayed by a beloved friend who was my business partner and he stole a lot of money and I had to go bankrupt because of it and in the midst of it I was really depressed and just really having a hard time about it um, and this one particular night I knew I was going to lose the business and I had tried everything possible just everything so this one night, <clears throat> I had gone to bed and and um, I was just beside myself, depressed, and sad, just all the feelings that you go through. So this particular night, I got up because I couldn't sleep and it was just the coolest thing because the Lord opened my eyes and he let me see this beautiful angel and I'm actually going to have her hands be up because we'll come back and fix them later but I want to have her hold a bouquet of flowers and I don't do hands very well but you're going to give it a try but anyway this night I went into my office and all of a sudden I saw this beautiful angel and the angel stretched from one end of the room to the other Oh, it was just beautiful, you guys. And the angel had, everybody always asked me what they look like. But this angel had long flowing hair and it had this gorgeous, I'm going to call it a, um, a flowing robe. And I was really drawn to the robe. 
and the robe had all these beautiful colors in it. There was magentas and green, and blue, and all the beautiful colors of the earth was what I saw. And then, but what was the cool thing? There was this golden thread woven um, all through this garment. And I was really drawn to that. And the Lord always would tell me what the meaning was. And so the meaning for this angel was that the golden thread was the hardship that I was going through. And it was the most beautiful part of the garment. It was literally interwoven through the garment. And so he showed me that all these hard things I was going through were really the thing that drew people to him through my life by the way I was handling it. Because I was trusting him even though I didn't understand, you know. And um, so it was just the most beautiful, magnificent thing to see. And we, we, were in, we were moving. We were in the middle of having to move, start over. I had to leave two of my children home in that particular state because they were married and then they had their families. But we ended up going, my two of my kids went with me and we ended up going to Rama Bible Training Center. And it was just the most amazing time in our lives. God really used that. Jeff and I both went to school. Becca and Josh both went to Rama, And um, it was just the most incredible time. So it's like the Lord gave me the courage to do it. And it turned out to be incredible. So this, I actually don't really like this. I want to make this kind of more flowing. So I'll show you. We can erase that. I can erase these lines because I don't like them. See how easy? Actually, I can go back. Oops. You know what? It's not going to let me do it. I'll have to go back, you guys. Oh, you can see me make mistakes, too. I, didn't, I pushed down a little bit too hard. So let's put some blue back in here. And we always, that's the fun part. We mess up and we just fix it. And then it's going to be even prettier when we get done than when we started. Just gonna fix it. And it'll try. But um and I'm actually gonna use this brush. Kind of smooth it out. I kind of wanted some blue anyway. So you don't make any mistakes. If you don't like it, you can just fix it. And I'm gonna come back when that dries and we'll put some of the other colors. I kind of want to spread it out anyway. I kind of wanted that anyway around the wings, so I'm going to put some on the other side too. So it can dry. But like I said, you know, here the Lord sent this beautiful angel and, and let me understand the meaning of it. And he does that for you guys too. You know, you can't see them most. And to be honest, I haven't seen any for quite a while. It's probably been a year. I used to see them all the time. And I would especially see them in church when we were doing praise and worship. But I, I haven't, and that's okay. You know, it's like I know they exist. He gave me beautiful stories, and I kind of think maybe I don't need to see any more because it's time to tell people about them. So it's all good, however God allows it. And the cool part is, is we don't have to compare ourselves to anybody else. We are who God wants us to be just by ourselves. But you can kind of see, because I'm going to put the wings in behind here. And of course, I always, you always want to put your paintbrushes in water because they will get, the acrylic paint dries really fast and the, it will ruin your paintbrushes. So now, I have to put the glue off this one. So I'll let it soak. So we're going to go back to our white. Um, we won't get this the way we want it. 
I like to, to, when I paint, it's just really relaxing. And I love to share with you guys. I just want you to know if you need any prayer, you are more than welcome to leave me a message. I do have people who find me on Messenger all the time. And they'll ask me for prayer requests. And I'm honored to do that. I am an ordained minister. And so I really love you guys. And this is this is what I do for my ministry. I don't have a, a formal ministry. I do painting lessons and tell the stories about Jesus. And I have some other ideas in mind that I would really like to do. Um, just sharing some uplifting and encouraging things. So those will be coming too for the YouTube video. Sometimes God will give me, show me things that are going to happen. Um, I can't tell you there's been some things like that. I'm not a prophet, but I think he, he is willing to speak to his people if they're willing to listen. So there's been those kinds of things. I'm going to water this paint down just a little. Kind of blend it in a little bit. And the fun part about acrylics, um, it's like layer upon layer upon layer. And like I said, I, I don't know what this is going to look like until it's done. That's why it's, it's just as much fun for me to work on it as it is for you. And your painting will look different than mine. And that's the beauty of it. We don't want them to look all the same. And some of you have sent me pictures of your paintings, and that is joyful. I love to see how yours came out. I'm using a square brush for this one. But it's just, so I always do the white part first. And um, I wanted her to have sleeves, so it doesn't matter that there's lines in that one because we'll fill it in. So I just really appreciate getting to talk to you guys. And like I said, I know this is not an easy time for anybody. It's really just been a tough, tough time. And I can see, I'm gonna have to let the paint, cause see I got it on my arm and it's already lifting. So I actually haven't had it do that before. So I'm just gonna have to be kind of careful and I'll do this part and we're gonna let it dry again. But you can see the angel's already starting to take form. It's peaceful and relaxing. I love having a day off. I work for Apple, which that's a blessing too. And um, I get to work from home. So even through this whole COVID thing, I was already home. And then um, I have, I work four 10 hour shifts. So I have three days off a week. So I love having my time to do these things. It's just really joyful. So I kind of need to go back and fix her sleeve. Put another layer of white. Find it a little more. All right, you guys, I'm going to let it dry because I keep putting my hand in it. I'll be back in a few minutes. <laughs> 